Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoe. Who it is? Hey guys. It's Nathan from Behind the Bar. Check out his beer reviews. Uh, we are going to do an awesome beer review today. We are going to be checking out Morning Delight and Good Morning from Treehouse. Wow. The number one and the number two rated beers in the world on Beer Advocate right now. Allegedly. Hype train. Yeah. Hashtag hype train. <laughs> Hashtag. That's right. Um, I was lucky enough. Nathan came out to visit um, and brought these two amazing beers. So mm -hmm. I, uh, I haven't been this excited about beer in a long time. We shall see. So you, you actually went out there and uh, you were at the Top Line Goliath Morning Goliath release? Yeah, I went to the release, got a couple bottles, um, got to have it on tap that day, so I'm curious to see how the bottle compares, but uh, two comparable be beers, the, and then the Treehouse Good Morning is a similar recipe, similar style beer, so I'm curious to see which one we think is best. Just way lower ABV though, right? Yeah, yeah. A lower ABV, but same with the maple syrup and coffee and all, right. all that. So Morning Delight's a once a year offering, mm -hmm. and Good Morning, I think it rotates, right? Mm -hmm. So. Um, good morning actually is obviously much easier to get uh, Treehouse. I mean, they'll do it. Do you know how often they do it? I think they've been doing it like once a year ish nice. Maybe once or twice. I think the last one was about this time last year. So. Yeah, and you can just go get growler fill so yeah That's the only way you can get it. The so top link Goliath thing. What'd you have to do? It was an email thing. Uh, yeah, it was an email They sent out a tweet and the first 500 people that sent them an email got the opportunity to go up and purchase it So I drove about seven hours to go get it. Look at that. Worth it. 14 hours round trip for beer. Yeah, because we're crazy. So um, we're gonna pour both of these. What should we should we drink the? So morning delight is what 12 percent. Mm -hmm. This is 12 percent, and then good morning is uh, 8.4. I think. Yeah, that's right. So comparable beers that they're both brewed with coffee and syrup, maple syrup. But good morning is just a, I guess just a standard. Well, 8 percent still is an imperial stout. Uh, that's probably right on the end. Just stout. Yeah. And morning delight is an imperial stout. So yeah. um, I don't know if, which one should we do first. Is it matter? Do you uh, highest to lowest? Yeah. Nice Let's right. see if we can do this. And if you'll notice, we are a battle. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'm Treehouse, Treehouse Mar uh, Mafia. Bastard. Yeah. Ooh, there we go. We got it. I didn't know if you were going to So, go. according to Eric, this is the greatest beer in the history of the world. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is Get a sneak peek. ridiculous. Nice. Look at that. Uh, it pours just like Dude, it pours just like oil. oil. That is one of the Freaking oiliest beers I've ever seen. So thick. Look at that. That's and there's, insane. Yeah, there's zero head on that. It is pitch black. And as soon as I opened that, it t it smelled like maple syrup. It is crazy. Yeah. That's over here. Sweet. One of the coolest looking uh, wax bottles, by the way. Mm-hmm. So. <laughs> it smells It smells like... Uh, like coffee beans that are dipped in maple syrup. Yeah, it's just like you get that roast. Butter pancakes, <laughs> chocolate chip butter pancakes. Of course you did. <laughs> but it's just like it's just like roasted coffee, just like, like you said, dripping. Right. It's like syrup. a. This is a familiar. Like, I feel like I've eaten candy that smelled like this before. This is crazy. This smells like when you walk into Starbucks, mm -hmm. and like it's that roasted coffee, like when they're grinding coffee, but it's also like if somebody was cooking breakfast. Yeah, I just can't get over like when you. Just that maple syrup is just huge on the nose. Yeah. Like, so it, when I had it on tap, that was the thing that I got. It's like it was the most maple syrup forward beer I'd ever encountered. This is one of the best stout it's noses on a stout I've ever smelled. Yeah. This is stupid. And another thing with this beer that we noticed when we were drinking it uh, was that yeah, actually the maple comes out a lot more the colder it is. Like usually I let stouts warm up, but mm. this one it was a lot more prevalent. I was actually just gonna say I can't wait to see what this smells like when it warms, but it's yeah, Sweet. it is. It is maple syrup. It's like if somebody took maple syrup and just threw it on the walls of the Starbucks yeah. when they're roasting coffee. That's exactly what it smells like. Amazing. It's crazy. That smells stupid. So, well. You ready? Cheers. Cheers, buddy. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's like milkshake consistency, by mm -hmm. the way. It's so thick. That is so stupid. Wow. Wait till you taste this. My brother-in-law is here, by the way. He's gonna he's, be tasting he's, this. He's like, right? wrap it up. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the first thing you notice is like the thickness of the beer. It's creamy. It is well. viscous. It's so it's ridiculous. I haven't had a, a, like a mouthfeel on the beer since a treehouse beer mm -hmm. like this. But it is straight. Like you guys said, you guys they did a, a review um, while you guys were there, mm -hmm. 
and they had said chocolate chip pancakes. It tastes like chocolate chip pancakes with maple yeah. syrup. Like like that baker's chocolate? Yeah. And it's like, and then the maple. That is freaking coffee. amazing. The hype train's real, Eric. Flavor Flav. <laughs> He's got his clock on right now. Yeah, absolutely does. It's like, it's like brownie batter too. There's like that chocolate in it. Yeah, absolutely. So amazing. Wow. So good. That's e I mean, you're right. It's easily that's a 100 beer. Mm -hmm. There's, I mean, you don't even have to like think about a grade for that. It's a, that's 100. Well, and the thing about it that's amazing to me is that it's not barrel aged. Like there's, there's, you almost feel like with the thickness of it. And yeah. It just, you Could you imagine if that was barrel aged though? <laughs> like, what would people do for that? There'd be yeah. fights. Oh yeah. <laughs> there would be fights. Yes. Well. Well. I don't know if we didn't spend enough time on that, but that beer is a 100. Um, yeah. Easily. Wow, that's that's ridiculous. I'm not. I'm a so this is yeah, this is this isn't gonna be like a battle beers thing. This no. is just kind of like a number one and number two thing. There's no sense in comparing these. So, yeah, this isn't like a which one's better, blah blah blah. Yeah, and this growler, uh, April or August 14th. Yeah, so what are we? On it. So a couple weeks. And my buddy that sent this to me, uh, shout out to Jeremy, by the way, if he watches this. Um, it, he said they popped one like a couple days ago when it was still amazing. Like, really? He thought it was better. Than nice. They, yeah, I've was. noticed uh, with Treehouse beers, all the IPAs, mm -hmm. I like them better with a couple weeks on them. Yeah. Three okay. weeks. So um, this didn't pour as viscous, but mm -hmm. it looks absolutely amazing in the glass too. Yeah. Just, it's, I mean. It's not, definitely not a thick, it's definitely a thin beer. Right. Uh, but it's, it's pitch black. Yeah. That actually poured, what, this is 8.4, so it's like a, I don't know, quarter finger head on it. Yeah. It's a khaki color head. So. Beautiful beer, though. Yeah, this is another one, brewed with coffee and maple syrup, so. I still have that, like, brownie in my oh, mouth. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, so you can tell this one's, like, a, a way lower, mm -hmm. like, it's it's just a, a smaller beer as far, like, Morning Delight is just a huge, like, chewy imperial style. This is definitely, like, a... Well, I think the nose on this is a little sweeter to me, right. is what I'm getting. But it's definitely, it's not as big, like, on the nose. Like, when you stick your nose in the glass, you're not getting hit like you did with that. Beer. Right. Like, you're definitely getting the coffee and you're getting maple syrup, but it's not, like, like, if this is coffee and maple, this is, like, steroids. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, absolutely. This smells great, though. This smells like a beer that I would sit and want to just drink yeah. forever. Yeah. Because it's, I mean, it's, it's got, like, the awesome coffee roast. It's got chocolate. It's got the maple syrup. Yeah, the blend's just, it's just different. Yeah. Just a little sweeter smelling. I love it though. Yeah, it smells great. Let's do it. Cheers. Cheers. Man, that's Dude, that's delicious. Wow, that's amazing. That's like, I mean, you can tell that you guys were talking about it too. So did these guys get together and like talk about this beer before they did it? Well, I, I don't think the story's clear on that because uh, somebody was tweeting with Toppling Blythe and they said they were in no way involved with making Good Morning. Hmm. Um, but I know that Mike was up there right. and they ate at Treehouse and they brewed so I mean they, there's definite similarities right, right no absolutely and it's almost like if if this was so if Morning Delight was like a barrel aged beer this would be like the non barrel aged mm -hmm. version if that makes any sense and it sounds dumb because there's obviously no barrels like there's it's not bourbon barrel aged but it's like a lighter version of Morning it Delight is. it's it definitely is. stupid drinkable for eight and a half percent yeah and it's got that signature like awesome Treehouse mouthfeel it does. Um, the, only, it, the thing about this one, I think, is the big difference to me. And maybe it's just me. This is—it has the roastiness, but it's a, a, like I got on the nose. It's a little sweeter to mm -hmm. me, like more sugary. Right. But it's freaking amazing. It's right. Amazing. It's just not that crazy, like maple bomb, mm -hmm. like Morning Delight is. No. But as far as like a, I mean, the unfair part about this beer is that we just drank that beer. Right. <laughs> as yeah. far as doing a rating. Right. That's true. But they're two completely different mm -hmm. beers. And I'm absolutely stoked that I got to try both of them. Yeah. But yeah, Morning Delight is absolutely 100 for me. This one, I like the roastiness. I like the chocolate. Mm -hmm. um, I like the mouthfeel. It's just, yeah, it's like you said, we drank this one We drank this one first. Yeah. And this is like straight, chewy, fudgy, yeah. crazy, like brownie batter. When this is like awesome chocolate, coffee, maple, just, it's, yeah. it's just kind of a step down a notch. It is. It's just, like you said, it's just, it's exactly what it, you would think going in. They're right. very similar. It's just, like you said, a little But better. if someone were to say that Good Morning was the best beer for Beer Advocate, I wouldn't argue with them. No. Just because it's amazing. Yeah. No, it's a fantastic beer. Um, and I mean, that, that, that rating came before Morning Delight was like the last release went. So mm -hmm. I can see why people love this and I can see why people absolutely lose their shit over this beer. Mm -hmm. Um, 
I mean, I would give Good Morning a 98. That means world class. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I was sitting, I was just thinking, I was 99. That's yeah. where I was going with it. Just like the uh, hair, it's right. just a mouthfeel. Mm-hmm. It's different, it's a little thinner, but it, like I said, it's, it's perfect. Almost. Yeah, both of these beers are amazing and they're both worthy of the uh, the spots that they're out on Beer Advocate. One and two. Yeah. The hype train is real, folks. It is. If you can get your hands on, well, Morning Delight's trading for ridiculous amounts. Yeah. Or you can buy it for $1,000. Yeah. According to that a couple people. Apparently happens. <laughs> Whatever you want. Um, but if Treehouse starts putting this in the rotation more, I mean, if you guys are local to Treehouse, absolutely go and get growler fills of that whenever you can. Yeah, and it's cheap too. And they, I mean, they usually limit it for two, and it's usually around for a little while. So right. it's not crazy like Morning Delight. Right, 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 right. Um, make it happen, folks. Yeah. Make it happen. Yeah. So it's getting hot out here. Thanks so much for sharing these. Yeah. These are, inc- these are incredible. If you've had either one of these, let us know what you think. Um, yeah. I mean, Morning Delight might be the best non-barrel aged Imperial Stout I've ever had. It's mine. I think it is. Number one. I can't even think of anything off the top of my head that's like even close to it. No, I have a hard time thinking of even barrel aged stouts that I like more than that. Yeah. I mean, it's that good. And then as far as like Good Morning goes, just a standard like stout. I mean, it's, I just had a 23, was it a 13 can of 1050? I mean, it's, it's better than that. Yeah, oh, I would agree. I mean, that's as good as any stout there is. Mm-hmm. So these are incredible. I don't want to go too long. It's hot. Um, yeah, it's warm out here. So we're going to get inside. Uh, we're going to do a couple more beer reviews today. So I'll upload. I don't know when I'm going to upload these, but we're doing some uh, some crazy beer tasting today. So. We're whale slammed today. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how good the uh, the videos are going to be here in about an hour or so, but <laughs> we apologize in advance. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Check out uh, Nathan's channel. I'll put a link to his channel in the description. Thanks, thanks. for sharing these. Yeah, absolutely. So, we'll see you guys later. Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes.